Terry from Jimmy Beans Wool. And I'm Heather from Jimmy Beans Wool. Now Heather is a new bean here at Jimmy Beans and as she was learning some of her different yarns she's learned some really interesting things about Tosh yarns and she wanted to share those with you. So here today we have all kinds of pretty Tosh yarns that we are going to be showing you and talking a little bit about what some of the differences are. So why don't we start down at that end and we have um, Tosh Chunky down here which is a really nice kind of a light bulky weight yarn um, and it has a lot of good elasticity it's fun for things and what did you learn about chunky yarn anything in particular well this one I learned that it's between a worsted and a bulky weight and what we would call a heavy worsted so it would be good for any project that you would have that would call for three and a half to four stitches per inch and because it's plied um, it would be better for something that you would want to have a lot of rubbing or um, you know like that you'd wear on your hands or as a hat or um, as a sweater um, because applied yarn is going to pill less than one that is not plied and we can briefly explain I guess the difference between a applied and a non-plied yarn because that's one of the main differences between all of the different um, Tosh weights in almost every weight they offer a plied and a non-plied option okay. so yeah for those of you who don't know what a ply is and what we're talking about I don't know if Nicole can zoom in here but you see that's one strand of yarn so when this was wool and that was just being spun into the yarn this is just one thickness of that this and that is called technically spinners will not call that a ply it's called a single here in the knitter's world, we are a little sloppy about that, so we call it a one-ply, but it's really a single, okay? And then what you do to make fatter and fatter yarns is that you take those singles and you ply them together. And I don't know if we can get enough stitch definition on yeah. that one. But if you twist a plied yarn apart, you'll see that it's made up of several smaller strands of yarn. Yeah, so not several sure of the singles. see that on there. Yeah. <laughs> is it possible? Yeah. So, and a single can be any thickness, like um, here we have Tosh Prairie, so this is a lace weight single, and several of these will make something equivalent to probably a worsted weight, two or three of those. Mm -hmm. Then there's, um, I think it's Prairie, then there's Merino the, Light, the Merino Light, which, which is, is a, sorry, oh, fingering ahead. weight, a fingering weight single. Um, we also have... Um, Tosh Merino, which we don't have one example here, but it's a worsted weight single. This one is Tosh Merino DK, which is a DK weight single. Now you can see against my hand there. So that's a DK weight single ply, so or a single spun yarn. Okay. So one of the biggest questions is what's the difference between Merino DK and Tosh DK? Well, the entire thickness is the same, so you're going to get quintessential DK weight should be about five stitches per inch on a number six needle. So both of them will knit up to about that, but this is, has a lot more um, fibers in it, so you're going to get a little less yardage oftentimes with um, a single compared to a, a plied yarn because the plies can be spun much thinner, you get a lot stronger yarn when you wrap your plies together. Does that make sense? Does that, did mm -hmm. I say that well? Yeah. <laughs> this today I don't know if I could say things well. <laughs> so anything that else that you wanted to say about those plies? Or? Yeah, um, you'll notice that in the in the single ply because of the more the additional fibers that Terry was talking about they tend to lift off of the strand of yarn and create more of a halo and you can see even some of the fibers just came off in my hand so that is going to give you like a squishier loftier knit sometimes um, but it has the added disadvantage of sometimes it can pill so that's when little bits of fibers roll together and they pill off of your um, your work but it's easily remedied um, with a sharp uh, single razor or they we sell pill combs and um, other things to take care of that mm -hmm. um, and Tosh um, from talking with other people here who have knit with it they say that it pills a lot less than your typical um, single ply so 
That's good to know. And that means that the fibers within each of those plies is a lot longer. It's the short fibers that tend to work their way out and make the pills. Mm -hmm. um, so that means it's a high quality yarn, it was sheared properly, and it's a, a nice long fiber. Mm -hmm. And it is very soft. Okay. And so one of the differences that we've noticed here, and here I'll have those to you, is oftentimes the single plies take the or show the color off differently. Here we have, um, each of us have a skein of pr Tosh Prairie and Tosh Lace. Now both of these are lace weights, but you can see, and they're both in the same color, I have Stargazer, or Stargazing, mm -hmm. and you have Amber Trinket. Okay. And so maybe you can see a lot of times that the single plies have a depth and a shimmer to them. And I've been wondering why that is, and it just occurred to me as we were prepping for this, that the plies will break up the light and, and make the, a more of a matte finish on the plied yarns. Or on the singles, you're seeing the sheen of the fibers themselves, and there's a lot more depth to it. So if you do that and maybe show the alizarin, it's a little more prominent on that color, and you can see how differently the colors can come out. Now I can see the ply. Oh, yeah. Well, right. So it's just something to consider if you're looking for a lace weight yarn and you want Tosh. Um, you know, when you're seeing both of them online, sometimes you can't tell the different characteristics of the two. But we that's why we made this video so you could, depending on what weight you're looking for, find the ply option that you are looking for. And um, yeah, so just as a brief synopsis to kind of go over what we did. Your single plies are going to have um, a little bit less yardage because you're getting more fibers per the weight. So you get only, like for your prairie, you only get 840 yards in, I believe these are for uh, 100 grams. Mm -hmm. And with the Tosh Lace, because you've got two very thin plies plied together, you can get a lot more yards, just 950 yards for the same weight because it's stronger. So you get a little bit more yardage. The depth of color is better in the singles. Um, the pilling is more prevalent in the singles. The plies will be um, a harder yarn, might give you a little better definition, stitch definition in cables. Um, both will work equally well in lace. Um, let's see, what else? Am I missing something? Um, we were going to show the difference of, this is also the same color in two different bases, um, mm -hmm. just to show some of the variation between um, the same colorway and different weights um, and bases of the yarn. So this is the Cove colorway and this is Tosh Sock which is a fingering weight plied yarn and this is the Cove in Tosh Merino which is the worsted weight single ply. So you can see how very different the two look just between those two bases. Mm -hmm. So one thing that we do here at Jimmy Beans um, that may be different from other online retailers is if you see a color online and you're unsure of what it looks like in real life, you can always give us a call and we will look at that yarn and let you know, um, you know what color family it tends to, whether there's more brown in it than green, you know, if we're talking about the, the cove colorway or whether the blue is more prevalent, we'll look at each skein and, and let you know which one corresponds more to your vision of what you want to buy. Mm -hmm. That's and we're happy exactly to right. do that. We're always happy to help out. If you have any doubt or want to match skeins, we will do that for you. Mm -hmm. oh. If I'm baking a sweater that calls for DK, mm -hmm. how do I decide if I want to use Tosh DK or Tosh Merino DK? Ah, well, that depends on what this, who's going to wear the sweater. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the nice things about Tosh is they're all super wash. So they all can be handled very well. But if you've got a sweater that you're going to make for somebody that you know is just not going to take very good care of it and you're going to want to throw it in the wash maybe with a couple of things, you want to stay away from the single plies, the singles, okay. um, and go with a plied yarn because it's going to be more durable. It's going to hold its shape and have more elasticity to it. Mm -hmm. The singles are going to have a little bit more drape to them and not as much spring. Um, but other than that, it's going to be just personal preference. Okay. So that helps. Okay. So we hope that helps. If you have any other questions, just give us a call, shoot us a live chat or an email, and we'll be happy to answer it. I'm Terry from Jimmy Bean School. And I'm Heather. You have a great day, and thanks for watching.
Thunder rumbles on this American summer night 